When it all starts in earnest, it will happen quickly. What is approaching cannot be stopped, only escaped from. Everything is moving along quite well. We have removed him from their minds, for the most part, even when they find themselves in moments of distress, when they call out to him for assistance. It is not actually the Almighty they are seeking, but some form of high authority, a construct of their own mind, one whom they believe is responsible for their safety and continued existence. They seek a God that will serve them, and that is exactly what we will make them believe has arrived. It will not be a surprise for those who have been blessed with spiritual discernment from the Lord. The signs, as it were, have been clear for many decades now. This did not all start with the supposed dreaded flu, not with the acceptance of alternate lifestyles by the mainstream media and their continuous efforts to impose the acceptance of these sins upon us, not even with the right of a woman to kill her own child commonly known as abortion. It began when individualized societies began to see the Lord God as less than sovereign and instead as an unnecessary influence on their own desires. When evil men began to hold position of power for their own welfare, those that know no fear of God. It began when those who know Jesus Christ as Lord began to be silent in the face of these evils for fear of personal retribution it began when obedience to the Almighty was seen as an option. Nearly every religious organization upon the planet has been deceived into following what we have brought before them. Their traditions have lured them into a false sense of security. Their routines have trapped them as never before, and they have been slumbering so long as to actually believe they still serve the one who sits on the throne of eternity. Satan did not need the permission of this world to begin to wreak his desires upon it. He is the God of this world. He has the power of death upon all who deny the Lord Jesus Christ as the only way to salvation. His advantage has always been in the church, those who congregate to offer worship and blessings to the Most High. It is within these walls where he has found a foothold, and once he is allowed in, no power of man on this earth can hinder him. It takes very little for our adversary to gain that foothold, the slightest intentional deviation from the scriptures, the smallest misinterpretation of them, is where he finds his footing. The workspace religious organizations are his invention. Any one of them that deems it necessary for a man to attempt to add to what our Lord did on the cross is where you will find him. Those places that deny the sufficiency of the sacrifice of Jesus Christ for the salvation of a man's soul are the strongholds of Satan. But it is within what is considered the evangelical church, the buildings where thus saith the Lord was once proclaimed loudly and in earnest. This is where he now finds a place in the pews waiting for him. He is not the cause of these great days of sin that we find ourselves in. Those who have opened the door of those buildings once known as houses of worship are. There are some, here and there, who indeed have given the entirety of their lives to him, but they are few and far apart. Their words seem as foolishness to the masses as they speak of the days that are approaching, but most have been corrupted by the traps laid long ago. The desires of their eyes and flesh are easily fulfilled. The daily and even hourly diversions keep their thoughts away from the eternal, and upon that which will pass away and be forgotten. We will continue to attempt to corrupt them, as much as we are able, but they will soon be removed, and no longer pose a threat to our endeavors. As the Lord place a curse upon Eve for being deceived, so shall the curse come upon all those who have allowed such to occur. For they have rebelled of their own free will, and by their own design they have corrupted the word of God, and for many reasons. To never offend is the battle cry of many of these places today. All judging is seen as judgmental, and as such, 
Those who sit with smiling faces in these buildings with a cross in them somewhere have placed themselves not under the authority of the Most High, but under the precepts they see as pleasing to the world around them. They have invited the world in, and thereby have invited the Father of Lies to sit beside them. The recent past offers proof of these truths. The recommendations of the CDC became the god of many of these churches. Common sense has overridden faith in this matter. Mask, mandates, lockdowns, and vaccinations were the order of the day, not standing strong and trusting in the Lord God. Doors were locked until the all-clear was given by those same worldly organizations, and few protested, ascribing to themselves the truth of Job 2.4, skin for skin. Those who have been placed in authority over them are their new masters, and they listen intently to them when warned of any imminent danger, real or imagined. Many are no more than sheep without a shepherd who would not recognize his voice even if he did call out to them. They are not even of his flock, yet pretend very well that they are. In fact, may actually believe they are simply because of their obedience to their church and its standards. But they are deceived. Fear is secondary in Satan's attack arsenal once he is allowed a foothold in the church, causing doubt to the validity and truths of the Word of God has always been his most advantageous weapon, and far too many have deemed the world and its false wisdom to be of more value than obedience to the will and Word of God. Because of this great apostasy foretold of in 1 Timothy 4.1, the days which we now find ourselves in, we are witnessing the beginnings of sorrows. The people of God, those who have been crucified with the Lord Jesus Christ, are sounding the warnings to not only a wicked and perverse generation, most of whom will not listen, but to those we find in the pews sitting beside us, to those who stand behind the pulpit and speak of the worldly events that are occurring and not lifting of the banner of strength through the Holy Spirit against these days, but seeking instead to placate those in the pews. They preach a message of fear, not of hope. They wore a mask for protection, but did not seek the face of God for that same protection. They locked their doors, and they will do so again, if commanded to. We expect the world to be wicked. It comes as no surprise to us. We expect that not all we meet who claim to have a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ to be nothing more than the fulfillment of Matthew 15, 8. We expect few that we meet to actually be saved by the grace of God, for Matthew 22, 14 stands as a truth. So it should come as no surprise to us that the days foretold of in the scriptures, the great falling away that will lead to the tribulation period, are upon us. They listen to the one behind the pulpit with no conviction. The doors of their so-called sacred building are exited with no thoughts of worshipping him outside of them. They speak of the world before and after their gathering, and of the Most High rarely, if ever, during the rest of their week. Yet they call themselves by the name Christian. The Age of Grace is coming to a close. The days of Jacob's troubles will begin, perhaps sooner than we can imagine. The signs are not just in the weather events that are occurring, and the enablement of society to those who are as Sodom and Gomorrah were, nor of evil men whose one desire it is to be masters of all men, but in the lives of many who sit in those pews each Sunday morning. I offer no more than a warning here to all who view this video and have not just listened, but heard the words expressed, and it is this, what is approaching cannot be stopped. How much of the blame for these days lies at your feet? We will all give an account to God. They cannot see what is approaching. They feel an assurance they truly do not have. They are as easily deceived as they always have been. They are not prepared to meet God, and that is how we want them to remain.